Hello traders, Nick Shaheen here looking at Palantir. I've been doing videos on it since I discovered it not too long ago and they're, they're pretty accurate. Um, let's see here, just on the daily, which is not very accurate for it because it's a relatively new ticker, so it doesn't tell us much detail, but it can tell me right away that the action has tightened from a big range into a finer point almost so there's a big move coming uh, the direction of the move is unknown um, but I know what happens if we cross certain lines like just from this level it looks like if you've watched any of the older videos um, there was a tradable range for a while that was 25.2 point X whatever it is versus 28 so if you swung trade those like if you bought it near 25 and sold it as it approached 28 you could you could have swung trade it and then uh, it broke lower out of it then recently recovered it and it looks like that trade is still on so just by saying that I will say that there is support as it falls into 25 point 1.2 25 and they they're selling the 28 which means that the 28 now becomes a trigger i don't know why i don't have a um an alert on it and i'll say here so i want to be alerted when it approaches these two lines if i want to be proactive about it i'll push it inside like 25.5 so i start looking at it but um, I'm pretty sure somebody in the chat room will jump on me uh, on that one. Speaking of, I do have a link to the chat room down below. Over 240 people, 250, I think, um, and growing. You too can be in there. It's not free to be in there, It's um, but it is free to try it out for 10 days. There's a link down below. It takes you to PayPal, but it's $0. The only reason I have that is because I need to protect them. Otherwise, you get all kinds of trolls that have no interest. They just want to go in and cause ruckus. So far, I have zero jerks in there. I've kicked only two out in, re in years. So uh, all styles of trading, options, stocks, and futures. Try it out. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. Okay, back to the, the, this thing. If, if I were to pick up a, a pivotal level, 2670, just from yesterday's uh, trade. It was a doji, it's the stomach of it, a little below, a little above. Visually, you, you can see you can slice it right there. If it ever comes down to 22 and a half again, I'll be selling puts and put spreads or buying shares if somebody wants to own it for a long time. And also basically buy the dip. Of course, it can fall below because markets are at all time high. And this is where I want to caution everybody. I'm not a perma bear by any means. In fact, I'm more on the upside than downside. But when nobody's looking down, I start worrying. For the next couple of weeks, I have protection. I've been booking profits. I, I, I came into the day long BABA, long CRM, long a whole bunch of stocks, a bit Boeing, and I've trimmed a lot. Um, I've closed the credit put spreads. Oh, uh, what is it? Fastly. And left some call spreads, but they're all way out in time, and they're all profitable, so I can let them run. But I'm also short Goldman Sachs, which turned out to be a really good trade the day before it fell, and uh, Micron and Twitter, and all of them are positive trades. So I do have a balanced book. I also own some protection via a debit put spread, say in SPY or SPX or credit call spreads, which are also bearish in the RUT, for example, which is a crazy thing to do, but these are to balance. Uh, if you say, I don't need protection, it's like, okay, so do you have protection on your car? Yes. And your life, or your health, or your house? Yes. Do you plan on crashing? No. Yet you still pay the premiums. How is this different? So revisit your need for protection. Um, for me, the next couple of weeks are going to be iffy, so I want to protect at all-time highs. Uh, the easiest way to protect is to buy calls in the VIX. Because the VIX hasn't dropped below 20 in a long time. So even though stocks, stocks are rallying, the VIX is holding its level. Not the VXX, the VIX. So it's like a rental. If I buy a call in the VIX out to February and the markets crash, there's a lot of upside that offsets any losses that you have from the longs. I'm not asking to short the market. I just want cover for like a couple of hours or a day in order for me to jump in and fix my trades. So if markets crash, I'm going to lose some money on the longs. I want something to offset it. That's what the protection does. Okay, back to this. So if I go into a half hour candles, so now I can see that 25 and a half 
they have support at 25 and they have resistance at 28 short term but they did that a while back see all this ding 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 and then they got above it and then the whole market gave it gave up the ghost and they came back they fought over it and now they're back back above it so this orange line is just a short term uh, point of control this is where they traded it the most actively so there's support below there's resistance above um i told you the the direction of the breakout is undetermined yes i cannot tell you which one is going to happen but i can tell you which lines i would chase so if it falls into here, I won't chase it, chase it lower because I know it has support. So I would buy the dip. So this is where, this is like a new thing. It's like buy the dip or buy the rip. So I either wait for the dip and buy it or wait for the breakout and chase it. Since I don't know which way it wants to go, unless I'm a speculative or willing to own it for a super long term, I should wait for more information and I should tell myself this is where it's gonna matter this is where it's gonna matter and if this fails this will matter so I can buy it here with a tight stop and get out or buy it here and say I'm willing to write it down to here and I'll double down type of a deal at least I have a plan now if it loses this one it's gonna go down to the teens what it could if the stock market drops 10 percent you think this one's gonna hold up all by itself up there no so regardless of how good th the strategy is for one company it has to trade not in a vacuum but it has to pay trade inside the prism of the whole market uh, so this is not a cheap stock by any means because it's still new to the market it's still trying to establish itself for all i know it looks like a legitimate business that is doing the right things so sorry the chat room is open um so I have no reason to doubt them. They do have a viable business as opposed to a whole bunch of other SPACs that have no business. They're just promising they would build this and they would build that. Well, this one has a business. It also caters to the government, which loves to overspend. And we have a democratic government now. I mean, uh, the, the Democrats took over the whole government so they can do whatever they want. So whatever spending is going on is gonna be exploding. Um, and maybe some will come her way, this company. I don't know why I said her. Anyway, so uh, let's see here. Range tightening at whatever time frame you look at, it's tightening. Uh, so they were trading this way. So they're going to break out this way or break down and bounce back up. So if this holds, if not, they'll they bounce and then lose footing and then come down here and I'll buy. So buy the dip buy the dip choose your poison make sure the trade fits your time frame if I'm not active then I, I shouldn't be watching a five-minute chart I should zoom out a little bit boy something going on out there <laughs> in the markets I know it's inauguration day but they they're they're active so pick the time frame that suits your schedule I'm busy all, I'm watching the markets all day but I'm busy all day so I don't want to trade minute to minute so I don't watch uh, the, the one minute charts because I just can't f keep up with it and I'll make mistakes five minutes gives me a good view uh, 15 minutes gives me a good swing and I know for the last few days if I'm looking like this I can visually tell you uh, tell myself where the resistance is where the support is just from prior days action and looking at the little tiny red dots that are POC slashes POC if I'm a really slow trader then I should not worry about the intraday moves and look at the big picture I see a big rally a big consolidation zone which usually serves as a base for another big rally equal to the one that just happened so long term I either hold it or buy the dip or chase the breakout for it to go to 50 um, not tomorrow not the day after it just it's spending a lot of time consolidating to build the base they don't usually do this consolidate and then crash again it has to trade within the prism of the whole market which is insanely high right now anyway next signing out